Welcome back to the channel. So Mike is pretty much one of the first people that started supporting my channel when I first started. When I first met you at Royal Aquarium, I noticed you from the store and I was like, hey man, check my YouTube channel out. And he's been supporting the channel for quite some time. And I want to come through his uh, house today and give you guys a tour of his tanks. He has some really cool, awesome tanks and he is addicted just like me, right? Yeah. <laughs> Don't we stop. all it don't, yeah, it don't stop man so we're addicted and every time i see him we always talking about fish and you know just about what we want to get next or what we want to do so i'm gonna let him just go through and talk about his tanks and uh just take a look at him what's what size is this tank right here this is a 72 gallon bowl mm -hmm. uh it's got severins in it two uh red severins it has uh three rock hill ones right here one's back there someplace uh, what are those? They're called Rock Hill Severns. They're going to be in a red shoulder Severn. Oh, okay. They're going to be real cool looking once they get big. They're still babies right now. And they're nice. So I'm waiting for them to pop up. I think uh, I have some of them at the house, actually. They, they were well, hard to find. I could, you know, I've been waiting for years to find them. I finally found them in Chicago there in Joliet. Right. You know, I couldn't find them anywhere. And then you got the Congo Tetras. Those yeah. are my favorite. Yeah, I, I love them. They just, all males there. There's one female in there. Um, we haven't seen them do any breeding activity, mm -mm. but they they school together. They 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 pretty up real good. Yeah, there's some dope fish. I haven't bought any of those yet, but I definitely would love to uh, definitely get some Congo tetras in the fish room. Yeah, they've and then they got the Jeraparis the back there. They're I've had those like almost two years. I want to say now. Wow, they've been through a couple fish in here because uh, you know I always try to go with the main I'm a focal main fish. Focal, fo focal fish because mm -hmm. I had a uh, geophagus uh, in there before and now I would try to go with them. What type of cat is this down here? Just a little baby African uh, the seven uh, trying to uh, take up the camera. Fish. Yeah I've had him in there probably five, six seven years. Really? He's been that tank forever. Oh you did say you had this tank about 15 years right? Right yeah I've had it since I've been Years, yeah, I would say a long time. Well, how long? I've been married. How long would you say you've been keeping fish? Uh, probably twenty years. Twenty years? Wow. Or twenty years, yeah. yeah. But I only had one tank for a long time. Right. So you got some bristle noses in here as well. That's, yeah, that's a, a nice little there. male right here. A little baby one in there. They haven't, they haven't got very big. They probably won't get very big. I guess so. I see you got the yellow, the yellow bashars in here. Yeah, there's two bashars. Those so are like getting one of my favorites right there with the yellow on them. Yeah, they're getting bigger. They were real small when I bought them. I got those at Rolls. I think 80% of my fish are still from Rolls in there. And they've got the, there's two electric blue cars in there, but they're two little blue ones. Yeah, I see those. I had a real big one in there and it didn't. Yeah, I remember you was telling me about I, the I big one. I never had bad luck with those. I don't know why it is. <laughs> I'm trying to breed some right now. So when I get some fry, I'll definitely give you some so you can grow them out. I have better luck growing out fish than like something big. Yeah, me, yeah. I do. I yeah. don't know why. It just, it just do better that way. Yeah. See, so you got some angels in here too. The focus of the fish, what you want to have in here. So I, 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 I want to go dark angels now. Yeah, I got those two black angels. You see, Phil got those black angels down there. But this yeah. guy right here, what is that kind of angel is this again? It's a blue, like a blue, uh, black I don't know if it's a, it's got blue in them, I know that. Yeah. He's got Blue Angel with black, that's all I can tell you. It's, but I, like I said, I wish I would've got two of them. Yeah, I like these coys I'm gonna, too. I wanna go back up there just to grab another one. <laughs> <laughs> 50 you know, yeah. $50 gas strip for a $10 fish. <laughs> right. <laughs> but you can't find them around The here. swap is coming up soon, so maybe somebody might yeah. have some. Yeah. And there's just a regular Black Angel right here too, I see. Yeah. And I started this out with the, with the Austrian, uh, uh, rainbows. Yeah, I got I got three of those as well. Oh, I'm Australian. down to two. I lost one, but there's still two in there. Yeah, they look good. They look like females too. Yeah, they're big. It took a long time for them to grow. They yeah, they've been there for a long time. And I like how you got this tank scaped. He's got like he said that's a fake plant, right? Yeah, that's a bonsai. It looked like it's got a whole bunch of like Anubias on it or something. Yeah, I mean I've had that a long time now. I've, but he. Yeah, I just found that in Chicago one day, going through the mall there, and yeah, it looks really good in there. What what are you yeah. using to filter this tank? Uh, there's a canister on the bottom. Okay. And okay. then I use sponge. That's aquam 
canister there. It's real quiet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, have a, I always have a sponge because overkill. Yeah, me too. Me I don't too. know why, but <laughs> just the way we are, you, you don't trust everything. So. And then when you don't have a lot of tanks like me, you can add more filtration to your yeah. show tanks, you know? Right. And then I see you got to hang on the back on the back as well. Well, that's just, that's, just for, that's just the filter part on the back. Though. That's okay. Just, it just filters the water. It's something they added to that okay. canister. It, it filters the waters that goes through. It's not really a... Oh, so it's connected to the canister. Right. It oh, wow. the canister through that way. Oh, that's, I've never so, seen that done before. Yeah, it just filters the water as it goes through. Wow. Well, yeah, this so, is definitely a I don't know if I want to do canister anymore after I get done with the canister. I'm I like canister filters. I do. They do a great job. They do a great job. Just sometimes the pain of them. The cleaning them. Yeah. I mean, I've had this one spill, break, water. <laughs> yeah. yeah <laughs> especially hey, you in the house. Ain't like you in the basement like me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand that. Well, yeah, this is a super dope tank. And then you got a little 10 gallon down here with like a little beta tank. Yeah, it's just. Oh, he's right here in the front. Yeah, get the light on here. Oh, you got a light on it? Nice little beta in here. Yeah, he was. I had him in the 10 gallon there for a while, then I put him in a five. And I just didn't like him in the five. And I always use sponge filter in everything I do because I. They say metals don't need it, but I just feel like they do better. Yeah, I mean, oxygen can't go wrong with oxygen. Right, I just feel like they do better. And then I might add. Little fish later, mm -hmm. but I just can't decide if I want to do something else with that tank or what, you know, or I might just go a school of females. I don't know. But yeah, I like the rocks to in there. there. It makes it really right. like, glow in there too. That's pretty dope. You know me, I always so, try to do like natural rocks, so it's pretty cool to I see like different type of rocks. A year now, and I haven't done anything with them. Mm -hmm. You know, I just. Okay, what do I want to do? Uh, I, do? I only think I would say maybe just add some plants and maybe a few yeah. plecos and maybe some type of tetra or something. Yeah, you know, some simple, yeah. Yeah, just leave and go. But yeah, I want to add more plants to escape it more. Some way I need to learn more to do the escaping, so. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to be no professional, you know, like this tank. It's, it's cool, you know, it's perfect. Yeah. It looks like original on the camera. Yeah. I mean, you ain't have to do nothing extra to it at all. I surprised myself with it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's talk about this tank. What size is this tank over here? This is 75 gallon uh, African Sickler tank. Now you is a big African Sickler lover, right? Yeah, originally I had them all in that tank, mm -hmm. in the bowl, for years. And then I decided uh, I had too many extremes fights and stuff like that mm -hmm. so I, I gave you some fish and i said i'm tired of this for a while i gotta take, take a break from africans yeah sometimes they can they just start killing especially you got some nice show pieces right and they so start I, knocking each other off i decided i have to i think i went to the yellow uh labs labs and then i went to the labs and that made the tank calm down okay because i had like five of them i'm down to three now but i had five of them in there and they 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 kind of set the mood for the tank. Right, right. Which made it calm down. And now with the blue, uh, uh, these guys are calm too. What's the name of those fish, you know? The blue, uh, jeez. I'll think of them in a second here. What other fish you got in here? Name off a couple of them for us. It's an auto point, this yellow auto point. This is a, uh, Look like a red empress. Is that a red empress? No, not a red empress. That's a. Uh, can't think of it. <laughs> It'd be like that. I'd be, I'd be having brain farts too. You got a nice OB in here. Yeah, that's a blueberry, hat. That's a blueberry OB. And then you got this. What is this? Like a sunburst or something or blood? That's a, that's a strawberry. Strawberry. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Strawberry. Yeah, those are nice. Then you got see you had a Ventusas in here. He's not me. Yeah, the Venusas. No, well, I just got that one yesterday. So oh, okay. So the other one, I had another Venusas in there, and it turned over yesterday. But yeah, that's a new one. But yeah. No, he's not. They seem to seem to follow the mold. This red, like I said, the red fin border guy here. He's yeah, a, he was he's a king too. Yeah, he's definitely showing really good. So you're not really into breed, you just like pretty much all males, huh? Right, yeah, there, there is a female of the... Is this a female right here? It look like a female. Yeah, I think that's the female of the red. Cause I think he gave me that when Frank filled in. Mm -hmm. When I got him. Cause that's supposed to be more red there, but he's colored, he's colored down since I bought him. Yeah, 
he's looking good. So he also looks good, but he's colored down. Big old Sin Adonis up under there, huh? Yeah, that's how Adonis is 12 years old. 12 years old, wow. And then you got the pleck on there as well. He was, I bought him a pairs one time. One jumped off the back end. Wow. A that fish tank. And I was gone for a summer. So what are you feeding these fish? I feed extreme. Oh yeah, okay, I see it down here. Yeah, I feed extreme. This is the, this, this, I think I, this one has some veggie in it too. I mix it up with veggie. Okay. And it's, it's peewee. You find that that helps them with their color and growth? Yeah, it, this stuff, I would, I don't know if I would really use anything else anymore because color growth and you don't have all those additives they put in fish food and right, stuff like that. Right, steroids and things, yeah. yeah. I'm little, I've left less deaf, left, you know. What's that one right here in the back with the yellow fin at the bottom? You know what this guy is? He's looking good. See me, I'm not really too educated on the peacocks, so I don't really know all the peacock names. I've always kept kind of the Mabunas. Those two are Those are nice. They're not actually peacocks. They're, oh, they're not? They're uh Maybe somebody in the comments. Somebody in the comments said haps, okay. They're haps. Okay, haps. And and then you just running what this one of this title title filter on here? Yeah, the title title set. No cancer, just title on this one. Yeah, it's a title on that one, and there's a sponge in the hidden in the log. Okay, I see that over there. That's I always cool. question if I should always do that because they would get in there, but the water does get to it and all and everything just fine. Yeah. And I should hide all my sponges. I just think about it. Mm -hmm. But I, I hid that one because I didn't want it to be seen. So my title does really good, but I do clean the tank weekly. Right, true. And you got a higher light I, up here. Yeah. How you how you find those higher lights? I got I ordered that one offline off Amazon. Yeah, I think I got one. I think I got the same on. exact light. Yeah, you got the timers on it. Timer I mean. everything because it, it it was uh, it, it, you can turn it on for a couple hours a day and shut off and then turn back on again. Yeah. And, and, and lower color. Exactly. At night, that's what I do. Yeah, I find that I've been using my planet tanks and it does pretty well. My planet tank, if you set the timer right, it's looking good. Definitely is. So, what other tanks you got around here? That shows what else you got. Now, I've been over here one time before, but I forgot what you had in this other tank over here. Charlie. Charlie is a dog. Oh, look at those chocolates in there, though. Yeah, this is my South American. Oh, this tank is dope right here. You know, I like love I said, South I need, to go, I need to go 90. With the yeah, pack. I think, yeah, yeah, I 90. need to get bigger. Yeah, that those, chocolate right here looks great. He is so huge. Man. And those red tiger. Uh, Severums, Severums. Yeah, those are nice, green, too. Yeah, they got red in them on the bottom. The green tiger Severums, they are... I think that's what I got, green sevens at the house. Mm -hmm. So that's what they gonna look like, huh? And what is this guy right here with like the stripes on him? Yeah, he's a, he's a green, he's a, just a green seven. A regular green seven. Right. Okay, okay, I got you. I think I bought him first and then got the tiger ones from him. And then you got this nice Texas cichlid. This a, this a electric Texas or just a red? Yeah, that's Le a yeah two electric blue Texas. This is, I think he's built on this one's the female. Oh, okay. Which is actually bigger than the male right now. Yeah, they look good too. I yeah, see so you got a Vieja, one of my favorite fish. Both Vieja, so they're just, yeah, they're both. And they got that color too. And they're still raw. Yeah, exactly. Mine, I got one in the thousand gallon pond that's getting huge and this color is just crazy on them. Like when they get big, their colors are amazing. I see you got green tears in here as well. It was just a regular car back here, right? It's electric blue car mixed with green tear. Okay, so it's a hybrid. Yeah, and it's, I think it's got more green tear in it, but it's that's what it came up. It's a female. I nice laid eggs tag. one time for me with that. With this one, okay. So that's the white tail green tear. That's what I right. had too as well at the yeah, house. I've had that one for a good two years now. Wow. He's just hair. He's just beautiful. Yeah, he's starting to get a little nuka hump on him too. Yeah, he's been around a while. I got a black one in there, another little male one. Oh, I see you got. Okay, yeah. And then it's a, this is Jack Dempsey right here, isn't it? Jack Dempsey. Yeah, the little black Jack Dempsey in there. He's 
I had him about a year now. He hasn't grown very fast, but he's getting Yeah, they grow pretty slow. Like I had some for a while too, and they just, I had some for three or four years and they still haven't gotten much bigger than, than just been kind of crazy. What are these, some geos in here? What type of geos are those? Those are red. It's supposed to be a red top one, but it's never got red. He, I've had him probably for three or four years. I, I got him about a school of five of them one time. Mm -hmm. And that's the last one that's left that survived. And so he's just always been there. I, he's done real well, actually. And he was the miniature one of them all. Right. Which surprises me. So. And what is what is kind of fish is this over here? That's another geo there. It's a. I don't even know. I never seen that species. Maybe somebody in the comment section will let us yeah, know. Yeah, I know that was. And then this tank is filter how? This is us. Uh, oh, you got okay. I got marine land. I got marine that. Land yeah, I, like, I, I really that like really those. Land. Yeah, it's a nice marine land. I've had it seven, six, seven years probably. Wow. So I had on my fifty-five in there. Then I also run spins on this one too. So. Yeah, I really like that marine land filters. It's real quiet. It's easy to clean. Definitely is really easy to clean. I'm loving that chocolate cichlid though. Yeah. Okay. Mine's is still small, so it's pretty cool to see what he's gonna look like in the future. And then these severs are huge. Yeah, I think it's about time to get to a new They're wild caught. They're wild caught. Those are wild caught. Those nitro severs are. Yeah, super dope tank, man. So what I love about your tanks, honestly, is that. You know, it ain't like me with my fish room. You just got a few tanks around the house. You know, you got good filtration on, you're taking care of them. They're kind of like species only type tanks. Yeah, uh, that's what I enjoy about just regular hobbyists um, that's keeping tanks other than people like me who just have a bunch of tanks or just trying to breed and have a fish room. Like this is stuff that I miss most about the hobby is just having nice show tanks in my house definitely looking good.